Hi, Christy Evers here. I'm so glad you could join me today because today I'm taking you to Biltmore Estates and giving you my top 10 tips of what to know before you go. So I got up really super early this morning, like four o'clock and like, I'm not a morning person at all, but I did it so I could show you this. And tell you how you can make the most of your visit to Biltmore Estates. You're welcome. My channel is all about travel, so if you're into destination info, tips, and travel reviews, subscribing to this channel is definitely for you. Let's not waste any time. We'll dive right in and start with tip number 10. Get yourself on Biltmore's website and become familiar with all there is to do. Seriously though, most people think Biltmore is only about a house tour and wandering the gardens, but they have so much more. And trust me, you do not want to kick yourself later for missing out on an activity that could have made your visit all the richer and more enjoyable. Like this rooftop tour, for example. With oodles of activities to choose from and 8,000 acres to explore, along with restaurants, shops, and a winery, it's smart to plan your activities in advance so you won't miss out on the fun. Now let's hear it for tip number nine. Be aware of the three things that you cannot do on your house tour. Despite the fact that the house has 43 bathrooms, absolutely none of them are for public use. You'll need to take care of your business before or after entering the house. Two bathrooms are located in the building where you'll find the gift shops and the stable cafe. One on the side by the carriage house gift shop and across from the confectionery. The other just past the toy maker shop and right before the stable cafe. The third restroom is located directly across from the house exit and next to the food court. It's around the same area where the trolley drops off and picks up. Secondly, while Biltmore's gardens, trails, and outdoor food court are pet friendly, I'm afraid your fur babies are not allowed to go inside the house. Rule number three, you're free to take pictures in the house, but you're out of luck if you want to take videos. It's a big nope. Sorry. Time for tip number eight. Give yourself at least one full day to enjoy the estate and the grounds. One of the best ways to ruin your Biltmore experience is to rush and not give yourself enough time to enjoy. I highly suggest adding a second day so that you can fit in what you missed the day before. On to number seven. You're going to do a ton of walking, so take care of your feet by wearing comfortable walking shoes and take steps to prevent and care for blisters. Hey you, yeah, you, are you paying attention? I'm not kidding, don't miss this tip. If you're zoning out and end up with blisters from walking the grounds and traipsing up and down the stairs during your house tour, don't say I didn't warn you. Stop what you're doing right now and grab your best walking shoes so you don't forget to pack them. What are you waiting for? Go! Shoo! Tip number six. Know the difference between parking lots A, B, and C. If you park in lot A or B, those have walking trails to get you to the house and grounds. When you park in lot C, they have a trolley that will drive you directly up to the front of the estate. Come along with me. Let's go check out this trolley and see what it's like. Oh my gosh, look at those benches. They're so adorable. And you can see they have every other row chained off to help with social distancing during this pandemic. Even the trolley driver is knowledgeable about Biltmore history and shares some gems along the journey to the house. Its height with Mr. Vanderbilt, it was 125,000 acres. Mr. Vanderbilt died at an early age and his wife Edith just couldn't maintain it all, so she sold approximately 80,000 acres to the government. And if you look at a map, Pisgah National Forest was basically uh, Mr. Vanderbilt's property. The trolley drops and picks up near the entrance to the food court, and that's right near the Information and Visitor Center and the bathrooms and lockers. Tip number five, do yourself a favor and plan to watch the sunset at Biltmore. This lawn on the side of the estate offers breathtaking sunset views, so plan your time wisely. Grab a drink and find a spot 
kick back and give those feet some rest and take in the beauty that George Vanderbilt fell in love with over 125 wow. years ago. It's worth it to stay until sunset. There are bag restrictions inside the house, so if you don't want to make other arrangements for your personal items, pay attention so you can plan ahead. Clear bags of appropriate size are welcome. I found mine at Target. Clear storage bags no bigger than a gallon. Or a small clutch. But don't worry, if you don't have an appropriate bag, they'll give you a clear plastic bag at the information center, or you can store your belongings in a locker that are located near the restrooms. Number three, I personally think renting the audio tour is worth it if you're doing a self-guided tour. While the house is beautiful to walk through no matter what, the nuggets of Biltmore's rich history comes to life and deepens your walkthrough experience. Number two, this is for my fellow picture and video taking junkies. Plan to have your electronics fully charged and bring extra wireless chargers and batteries. It's not easy to recharge at Biltmore. I was only able to find one outlet to recharge my phone. One. Do not have an outlet or if you are running out of battery for your phone, this is your only bet. That one little thing, it is right behind the courtyard market here and it's the outlet is between Courtyard Market and the Carriage House Shop. I've saved reserving your house entry time in advance is my number one tip because if you want to tour inside the house, there's a good chance you won't get in if you don't book in advance. There's a limited number of people allowed to enter each day and during COVID restrictions, those numbers are even smaller. So you can reserve your spot online or by calling Biltmore House Reservations directly. If you do miss your house time, that's okay. They are pretty lenient with letting you in at a different time. Yeah, we're Thanks so much for watching. I hope you found this helpful. Let me know in the comments what you enjoyed the most. And uh, also let me know if there's any other questions that you'd like to have answered about Biltmore as well. I'm Christy Evers, owner of Happily Evers After Vacations, your retreat, vacation, and conference specialist. And if you love to learn about travel destinations, get travel tips, deals, and reviews, then this channel is for you. Click that like button, subscribe, and hit that bell so you know when I post more amazing content just like this. I have other informational travel videos and playlists for you to check out too. Go on now, you know you want to watch them.